Hello, hi, welcome. I am Morgan of What's Morgan Stitching, um, as you may probably know from my handle or from other videos. I'm here because I received my, my I was gonna say summer in Stars Hollow, my winter in Stars Hollow Black Needle Society um, retreat in a box delivery today. And I'm going to do an unboxing of that one. Um, I have simply, sorry, just popped it open um, so that I'm not doing that on camera. Um, and we're gonna dive in and get into what's in here. Um, unfortunately, I've seen some spoilers because some people have shared things in the group without realizing that other people don't have their boxes. Um, so there are a few things that I am aware of in here, but nonetheless, uh, I know less things than I know. So still quite a surprise. Um, I have also been working on the retreat piece. So I'll show all that um, as we go through. The previous boxes that we've received for the three retreats um, have all been the standard Black Needle Society box, which is their logo, so the like the gradient rainbow-esque um, scissors logo. And this is the first one that's actually a decorated theme box. So it starts off with this that says Winter in Stars Hollow with the Luke's logo um, on both sides. It's got all the mismatched coffee cups this wrong and then this side here has the loops um, symbol the top and the bottom are just the blue pinstripe um, and before I get into all of this just a little bit on what it is if you haven't seen any other videos um, unfortunately if you haven't participated this is the last retreat um, and it is as of I think it's Wednesday in the US, but for us in Australia, it falls on Thursday um, this week. So Easter long weekend, um, the retreat box went on sale. I'm going to say September, October, 2023. Um, and it is a pre-order situation. The leftovers of the boxes uh, do go up into the Black Needle Society vault. That typically is uh, from the first of the following month, but I think because this happens over the weekend that involves the first, it won't be until potentially May, but don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. They do ha um, hang on to the leftovers just to give enough time for them to arrive to everyone, including and especially the international purchases. Um, and in the event that a product is missing or broken or faulty, um, then that way they can replace those before it then goes on sale to the general public. Um, on occasion, I believe that there has been like a full box or two from previous retreats, not necessarily um, the Gilmore Girls box. Don't quote me on that. Um, but you will be able to get the leftovers or um, whatever is remaining afterwards. I believe too that all of the charts um, will now become available for purchase in the next 12 months um, and possibly also as a four pack rather than individual. Um, the first retreat started off with a paper copy um, from memory, I think that did then also like you got the paper copy booklet, um, which looks like this for autumn. Um, and then we also were able to receive a, um, digital copy. I've then, uh, they've released digital copies to retreat holders only. Um, and it's only been within a week of the, um, the retreat essentially. Um, it, I've stitched all of mine digitally. So the retreat, um, sorry, the digital pattern has worked and been compatible with, uh, pattern keeper, which is awesome. Um, but I believe it will solely just be paper copies that will be available. And I think Katie, uh, last mentioned that they weren't sure exactly when it would go online, but potentially up to 12 months after the last retreat. Um, just to keep a bit of that exclusivity to the retreat attendees. Um, so keep an eye out on those. There are plenty of reps. You've got Liz, Stitched by Liz, um, Cece, 
uh, Chloe, Miss Chloe SW. There's plenty of um, Instagram and YouTube updates um, and through the Black Needle Society and through their reps. So check them out if you've got any questions, if you haven't participated. Um, but other than that, I'm going to get into things. So, yes, the very first thing I see is something that I have uh, had a spoiler on. Um, these boxes always come with this. It's a little brochure um, pamphlet. Inside of it, it tells you all about the products that are in there. Um, it's a little Hello Society stitches. Um, and then some of the past photos and um, stitching challenges. Now, this is the overall stitching piece. I don't think, or I'm not sure if you can clearly see that coming up. It's showing like it's clear on my screen, but I could be wrong. Um, we've got spring, summer, autumn, and then winter. And this is the one that we're working on. I've stitched them as a band. Um, not everyone has, um, but I have. In here as well, um, we also have that fall out of there. I don't know where that's from. Um, exchange pieces. So um, there is a needle minder exchange and a stitching piece, a smalls exchange that comes with this one. Um, so, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So this is my, what I've received as the Smalls Exchange. Ooh. Um, and I've got this from, stitched by Amanda Badger. Um, it is a pattern called I Smell Snow from Soulful, I think that says Soulful Creations. Um, she's even included that it's been stitched on 28 count white opalescent linen over dyed floss. And that's on this really cute little snowflake. That's incredible. I'll tell you what, the finish quality on people's finishes are incredible. Um, mine is not my skill. I do not have that skill. Um, and then I have a needle minder, which is also from Soulful Creations, if that will focus. Um, it's a little winter beanie. Thank you so much, Amanda. That's awesome. I've got a, I recently purchased a bookshelf um, to get rid of this thing because I'm not going to show you closely, but it has a good leaning tower of Pisa lean on it. Um, and so this bookshelf is going to be big enough to put some finishes and little trinkets and things. And that is the perfect spot for all of my Gilmore Girls themed little section. So thank you so much. Um, I did also participate in this, the needle minder exchange. I believe that that might be my needle minder. I'm hoping that that's not just something that's thrown in here. Um, but I'm going to get into it. Firstly, I have seen this one, unfortunately, Ooh. um, in the spoiler, it is a black needle society blanket. Um, and I'm not going to open it just because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> I mean, no disrespect. Their blankets have an incredible hype about them. I don't decorate with things like this and I don't really have a space to use it. So I just don't know at the moment where I'm going to use it, but it could actually come perfectly in handy in the nursery um, as a nighttime kind of blanket. Um, but for now, just to save space, I'm going to leave it packed up. Um, but what we have here is Winter in Stars Hollow Blanket. Um, this is designed by Heather Gretton Art. I'll go into that um, in a second. It says, Burr, it's chilly in Stars Hollow. Snuggle up with this blanket, your favorite show and stitching. Um, now, I should have probably pulled it out of my cupboard before, but Heather Gretton Art has actually done um, a series with that's been within all of these four boxes of um, recipe cards and a recipe book. 
um, and there's been recipe cards for like the Rory, the drink, the magic risotto. Um, I can't even think of other things. The Bloody Mary that Mary, that um, Emily makes at the tailgate. All of these, and this is her artwork. So these, this is exactly what is in those pieces. Um, I recognize it as soon as I saw their faces. Um, so yeah, it is a beautiful piece. I just, not usually my style. So I'm just gonna leave it wrapped up. But if I can find a photo from someone else um, and they'll let me use it, I'll try and maybe insert a photo, but I'm not making any promises. Okay, I'm gonna jump into a couple of things that I know before looking into other things. Um, so every retreat box has a needle minder and uh, a series of custom floss. So needle minder comes in this little packet. Um, I've just read the subtitle on it. Um, it says no phones needle minder. So, so no cell phones, sorry. So I can only imagine this is amazing. This is such heavy durability. My goodness. I reckon I could knock someone out with this. So it says no cell phones, which is obviously the sign in Luke's diner, a massive magnet on the back. So this, stop trying to get my eye. Um, this says, no cell phone needle minder designed by the Black Needle Society. We couldn't finish off these boxes without sending you Luke's famous no cell phone sign. Use it when you need to remind yourself to focus on your stitches and not your socials. I love that. I don't have all of the other um, ooh, needle minders on this piece at the minute. I do have one of them. I haven't pulled the other ones out, but that has gone straight straight on there and that's one of the other ones from last year i love it love it okay i should probably just clean later and not clean as i go um this is the other retreat um consistency this is the owl's pancake world exclusive floss uh the last three have been um they've all been color and cotton and this one here as well is co color and cotton um, they've been a mix of, um, like I feel like the first one was based more around like Chilton. So there was like uniform, there was blues and grays. They've all got very witty names. Vicious Trollop, the lips, the lipstick is one of them. Um, yeah, they've just been very, very clever, very fun. I haven't used any of them to stitch anything yet. Um, normally there has been five, I think, but there's six here. So this says Owl's Pancakes exclusive, exclusive floss made by Color and Cotton. You never know what you'll get from Owl's. We asked Angela to dream up colors inspired by some of our favorite winter Gilmore isms. We also asked her to create a special bonus skein inspired by the snow's title card, the show's title card. So hence why there is actually six. So first we've got is Rory's winter formal dress, which is this beautiful royal blue looking color. Then we've got <laughs> one, one is a pom, um, which has ooh, uh, variegation from white through to pink and red. This is beautiful. This is autumn leaves. Um, so a beautiful variegation from orange into the burnt oranges and, and like the mustardy kind of, oh my goodness, stop it. Anyway, you kind of get the idea. Um, for tonight only, my name is Bill, which is a lovely light purple blue into like a very pale pastel white blue. Why is this not concentrating for me? Let's cover my face. Does that work? Nope. Sorry. Sorry. Um, Rich Blumenfeld's hair. So it's a, I was going to say Goldilocks, um, a like blonde, multiple colored blonde kind of thing. There's some light and some dark blonde. Oh my goodness. Stop it. There we go. Is that working? Yay! Let me try and show you the other ones. 
Is that gonna work? There we go, look at that. And then the last one here is seven Christmas trees. And this is just all different shades of like a pine green situation going on. Oh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. I'm gonna have to find something to stitch in honor of all of these beautiful pieces, these beautiful threads. Um, if I was more prepared than I am, I would have pulled out all the other ones. I'm sorry, I'm not. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, cause I know what this is and I can go down this order. This is a candle. I'm doing so well. I'm so out of practice. Stop it. Ah, uh, there we go. It says Weston's candy cane latte. This says made by the Black Needle Society. Laurel, I waited too long to order her favorite can candy cane latte at Weston's bakery because she wanted to celebrate Christmas with Worry. Maybe this candle scent can hold her over until next year's batch is ready. Ooh. It's like caramel. Oh, I guess that's what candy cane is. And mint. And latte. Maybe it's the latte I can smell. It's very pretty. I only like, um, fun fact, I only like candy canes when they're soft enough that they add a layer of them like you can bite almost half of it off so like they're almost expired and i don't know if everywhere in the world gets them but we also like there's different flavors and concoctions of candy canes but we have like fruit flavored or yeah like fruit flavored ones here um so you can get like almost like a rainbow candy cane or a like green apple candy cane they're just at our like coles and woolworths um and uh those would have to be my favorite but anyway, moving on. This is <laughs> a thread winder. So it looks like this in the packet. And that's branding down the bottom. Um, so it says monkey monkey underpants. <laughs> Um, and this says, made by Wild Rainbow Co. To help you unravel Lorelei's thought process, we've commissioned Deb to create this nine inch thread winder. The pink is inspired by the color of Lorelei's coat in this wish episode from A Year in the Life. Lovely. Thank you. It's a classic. It's one of my favorite quotes from there, A Year in the Life. Okay. This makes sense. So this is a whole kit with the chart um, and all the materials that need to go with it by the looks of things, including um, the finishing products. Um, so this is the pattern. Ooh, here we go. Um, and this is Luke's Coco Ornament Kit. Made by Lady Dot Creates, color and cotton and designed by the Black Needle Society. Hand make an ornament like the Gilmore's with this Luke's Diner Mug inspired design. We've included a cut of color and cotton linen and a full ornament finishing kit. Threads are used. Threads used are called for in the winter in stars hollow pattern, which is perfect. I think that's what I've really enjoyed about all of this too, is the pattern um, for the winter section The like with the over dyes, where they overlap, they've utilized multiple of the same color. Um, and then on, I think it might only just be on this one, but there's two colors that only have like six or seven stitches. So Katie's made a note on those six or seven stitches that it is only a small thing and you can just pull from stash. Um, so trying to be like as minimally wastage, minimal wastage. This is the piece of fabric that I've received. And then behind here has, oh, um, I'm going to say that that's like backing. Um, and then there's ribbon to tie the top with. Oh, I should take this out. I'll leave the chart in there. Um, all of the information. There is some batting in there. I think that's what the word is. Um, and then, yeah, just, where are we? Um, like this little charm and the the bow materials and everything. I have never in my stitchy experience done or had a finishing, like a full ornament and finishing kit. Finishing is not my strong point. 
So that is something I'm very excited to receive and actually try with instructions from the ever great Lady.Creates. Because I've seen the things that they all come out with and I cannot do any of them. So hopefully this is easy enough for me. Um, okay. This is going to come very handy for my work. This is, yes, Lorelei's measuring tape, which has a drawing of, ooh, um, there we go. It has a drawing of Lorelei and a dressmaker um, mannequin with the dress on it. This says Lorelei's measuring tape, Lorelei's sewing, sorry, designed by the Black Needle Society. Um, Lorelai's sewing skills are fantastic, but she may want to brush up on self-defense when it comes to making Rory's winter formal dress. Take measurements like a pro or like Lorelai with this measuring, measuring tape. So I actually carry around with me two different kinds of measuring tapes, one in my car that's a bit bigger and stockier and just a small one um, for work. And I pinch the one from my sewing like stuff for the small one that I carry around. So this is perfect, perfect. I really don't know what these are. I'm gonna leave this out for now. <coughs> okay, moving on. Oh, this is cute. A little beanie. It says, I smell snow. Um, designed by Katarina Book Designs. Do you smell snow? Grab this beanie to go take a walk in the first snow of the season. So we don't get snow where I am um, or anywhere in Melbourne really. You have to go to the mountains to get snow, but we'd go to the mountains every year to go snowboarding. So this is going to become my new winter and snowboarding beanie. But I'm not going to put it on right now because headband, but it's very cute. Ha, <laughs> there is. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Okay, I've got three, three things to go. So I've, I've got myself there all rattled now. Um, every year, sorry, we have been given a project bag in the box just gonna sort myself out so this i think this was the summer project bag um it says roll out those lazy hazy crazy days of summer those days of soda and pretzels and beer and then it's got a little celebration print on the back so this was i think yeah summer or spring oh. summer summer because we stitched them in summer um and then i've just kind of kept everything in there i didn't i think the the autumn was too big for me at the time for like one pattern so i've kept it all in there this is amazing this is the winter one so it's out of the way lorelei and Rory sitting on their couch This is designed by Karen Leopold. Um, Donna Reed has nothing on the Gilmore Girls. Store your next stitch in here to keep it safe from stray snowflakes and coffee drips. And then on the back, it's a lifestyle. It's a religion. That is incredible. Sorry. Like just the detail, the um, the books on the the bench, on the bench on the table that um, are they cheese puffs? Are sitting on the bell jar, and Alice in Wonderland, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna change the project bag. Um, I also pulled out the chart, the pattern while I was. Getting to the bottom of that. So that was also in the box. Designed by the Black Needle Society, in case you didn't know. 
Um, okay, then we've got the Eat Like a Gilmore recipe card. So this is the artwork um, artist that is on the blanket. Um, I might not be able to get these open with these. Um, that is the Rocky Road Cookies for Dean. That's on the front. Haha. -ha. I'll go pack these away straight away. Um, Luke's Santa Burger. <laughs> um, double sided. Emily's Christmas Apple Tarts. Um, it says I can live without the apple tarts down the bottom. The Brace Bridge Dinner Butternut Squash Soup. Stars Hollow Winter Carnival. I can't remember how to say that. Glog. Lorelei's favorite Hocho in jar. Fran's Red Velvet Cake for Michelle. Ah, uh, I feel like Michelle hasn't had that much of a an appearance in this, but that's okay. Suki's Muffin Bottom Pie. Emily's Salmon Puffs. Richard's Favourite Pot Roast. And Valentine's at Martha's Vineyard Bruschetta. I did say that very not Italian because I get laughed at when I say it normally. Um, so that rounds out the thing. I might, if I get to it, Probably not, but if I pull the other ones out and put them in, I might do a quick flip, quick flip through. Um, but they are designed by Heather Gretton Art. The final set of seasonally inspired recipe cards. This winter set includes 11 recipes from the show to help while planning your retreat snacks. Now, regrettably, I have not made any of those yet, um, but I will work on that because there are a couple of things that I actually genuinely want to. And I'm getting a bit bored of the things that I'm used to cooking in the kitchen. And for someone who's not a big alcoholic drinker, um, if anything at all, I only ever drink when we're at home and I actually haven't, like, I've been missing it. <laughs> um, so I want to try a couple of the drinks when I can finally drink again. So we'll see how we go. Now, this one, I've seen a comment made. So I do know that it is a beverage drinking vessel. Um, this says our little corner of the world mug artwork by the black needle society. Katie spent over a hundred hours creating this mug art from let oh. oh my God. So you may or may not know, um, but the black needle society also do another series, um, retreats which is the Hogwarts retreats. Every year comes with a band sampler and a matching, I think the band sampler is possibly on the mug um, as artwork instead of as the band sampler, or it's just stuff to do with the movie, the respective movie. So you'll end up with all seven of them, or I think it's based on the book, sorry. Um, so, I've always seen these styles of mugs, but I have never had one because I don't participate in that retreat. Um, but they've always looked incredible. And this is, this does not fail. Let's see if I can get this to bloody work. Sorry about the glare, doing the best I can. Okay, so says from left, Jack Jackson's not too happy that Suki's checking out strawberries at Dosi Dosi's. Yep, market. Here we have <laughs> Taylor is not happy to find Kirk dressed as the woman of questionable morals. This one. Um, Luke is not happy to, oh, sorry, Luke is grabbing a to-go bag and talking with Lorelai and Rory while <laughs> Zach eats some wink winkers. Oh, I did that with the wrong eye. Wink winkers. And Lane gets ready to refill some coffee. 
Babette and Maury take Cinnamon for a passeggiata and Miss Patty teaches a dance class and the town troubadour serenades, serenades us. That is just epic. Epic. Katie, you've done great. That's amazing. Problem is, I can't use it because like Tim will put it in the dishwasher. No. Anyway, and then my thing has these. And I don't know what these are and I don't think that these are part of it. So, unless this is part of, ooh. Maybe, maybe not. No, I was going to say, unless that's part of my smalls exchange to like hold it up or something but i don't think so anyway i'm gonna leave it at that because now i'm rambling and waffling and i'm getting tired um i also have a new video no hang on here is my stitching piece <laughs> this is my start on winter in stars hollow this is uh the height and width of the final piece of the puzzle um and i'm working on it and color completing um everything at the moment um don't mind the loose strands that you can see but i've done i think nearly 20 percent of this so far um and i'm just churning through it um and i just got the remainder of my threads so i will probably monogamously stitch this until it's done i haven't had a stitchy bug for the last three months um, I'm posted a quick little update and life update video. So if you want to see it, you can click on that video. Um, but yeah, this is it. And hopefully once this is done, I'll be able to share, um, I'll hopefully monogamously stitch this and finish it off relatively soon and then be able to share the whole band sampler piece or four together. Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it being over, but anyway, um, Thank you for hanging out with me, for watching this one. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. If I can't answer them, I will ask some of the reps to assist. Um, other than that, if I see you in the treat, retreat, say hi. I'm not able to participate anywhere as near as much as I have previously um, due to it falling on Easter long weekend. Um, and if not, um, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Bye.